Assalamualaikum and greetings to everyone. My name is Harif Fidaus bin Aswandi. And hi, my name is Zulafi bin Wazaki. This, this is, is our e presentation for intellectual properties and varieties. In this e-presentation, water pollution issue will be the focus in our discussion. Security of national water resources was threatened due to rapid economic growth since 1970s. The conflict between the development and this issue became obvious as in 1992, from 87 rivers monitored, 4 are critically polluted, 44 moderately polluted, and 37 as clean. The rising trend of water pollution is observed from 2015 to 2019. As a consequence, it has impacted the quality of life, health, and economy. Limited access to clean water led to exposure of infectious disease such as typhoid fever and cholera and also affect various economic sectors that are highly dependent to water. Therefore, Environmental Quality Act 1974 or Act 127 was passed by the Parliament and effective on 15 April 1975 had formed a comprehensive legalization and an agency to control water pollution and other environmental issues. Through this act, legalization can be taken on the individual and any company that causes water pollution. Later, the Water Service Industry Act 2006 or Act 655 was in act and allowed the federal government to monitor the economy, technical and protection of consumers' right for water. Malaysia experienced its worst water pollution cases in history through the King King Rivers water pollution in 2019 and water crisis in Selangor in 2020. First, the water pollution in King King River Pasir Gudang Johor had led to the closure of 111 schools nearby the river as several students were suddenly ill due to toxic fumes from the river. More than 1,000 victims with symptoms of breathing difficulties, vomiting and dizziness were hospitalized with eight admitted into the ICU. The river underwent extensive chemical clearance by hazmat team and CBRN team from Malaysian armed forces. The source of the pollution is from an illegal dumping chemical as marine oil that emitted flammable methane and benzene fumes. Then, two main suspects and the company PTAC resources were slapped with 15 charges each under Act 127 with maximum 5 years prison and fine not exceeding 500,000 ringgit. Next, the slow water crisis is recognized as tragic as it faces nine water pollution cases throughout 2020 that lead to the closure of its four water treatment plants. It had affected more than 1.2 million accounts of our slow around the Klang Valley to access clean water. Until 28 October 2020, 20 water pollution cases was recorded, with 9.45% causes by oil spillage, 7.35% from smell pollution, 3.15% from industrial effluents and aquaculture, and the rest 1.5% from turbidity that led to the closure of water treatment plants in 8 times. The state and federal government had enforced the law by arresting individuals suspected of water pollution in Selang rivers. Additionally, Selang State Assembly bypasses the Amendment on Selang Water Management Board in Amendment 1999 on 9 November 2020, increasing the fine to 1 million and mandatory for doing crime on water pollution. Other than that, Act 127 and Act 655 were also charged for the offending and sabotaging the water resources by illegal dumping of shallow waste in the river. Unfortunately, Limitation in reducing this issue is occurred as the unclear segregation of power between the Department of Environment and local government in monitoring and enforce the law on the criminals in this issue. So that sparks the misunderstanding between the authorities. Hence, the law enforcement on this issue is not fully exerted. Apparently, this problem can be reduced if the federal government is able to enact an integrated act regarding monitoring the water resources nationwide. Other than that, educating the community on their responsibility in keeping the water resources clean and safe and doing routine surveillance by the authorities in the residential area, industrial park and business point can be done to prevent the water pollution. Above all, the issue of water pollution has taught us a valuable lesson, which is that it's important to have love for nature because we and nature live in the same room and need each other for living. It's the responsibility of the government and its people to safeguard the water resources and thus sustaining the good quality of life in the community. A rapid economic development and preserving nature within a similar time frame will make Malaysia a true progressive developed nation.